In court today, the jury hearing from the teenage girl who recorded the video that sparked international outrage, capturing George Floyd's final moments. Was there anything about the scene that you didn't want your cousin to see? Yes. And what was that? A man terrified, scared, begging for his life. The experience forever seared into her memory. Prosecution then calling two other teenaged eyewitnesses, Kaylin Gilbert and her friend Alyssa Funari, who testified that as Floyd grew weaker, Chauvin applied even more pressure on his neck. The jury then hearing from Minneapolis firefighter Genevieve Hansen, who happened upon the scene and begged officers to take Floyd's pulse. Get off the street. Why is it right now? Are you in those? He's not responsive no, right now. Defense attorney Eric Nelson argues the police officers saw the crowd of onlookers as a threat, but he did not force the issue with the teenage girls who testified today. He did aggressively question Williams about his words to Chauvin. He called him a bum at least 13 times. That's what you counted in the video? That's what I counted. And that's what you got, 13. Those terms grew more and more angry. Would you agree with that? They grew more and more pleading for life. Inside the severely overcrowded Border Patrol facility in Donna, Texas, rows of kids packed shoulder to shoulder, the children separated into eight pods up to 600 in each, no room to move inside. One little girl wiping tears from her eyes through a plastic divider. Our facilities were never designed to hold people for longer than a couple of days. And outside today, hundreds more waiting to get in. This is the first time the Biden administration has allowed a press camera inside this facility. Morning, guys. And just miles away, Border Patrol coming across one group of migrants after another. This mother carrying a two-month-old baby. Authorities are finding up to 400 children a day. And roughly 18,000 are already in U.S. custody, a near record. Every facility we have along the southwest border is over capacity right now. A plea for the public's health as police try to identify the man seen here in new surveillance videos. It's really disgusting when you see the video. Authorities labeling Monday's unprovoked attack in broad daylight blocks from Times Square a hate crime assault. I'm shaking. Um, I live right next door. It's just outlandish for me to, to think that no one intervened. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki today detailing an administration move aimed at curbing the recent rise in anti-Asian attacks. DOJ is taking steps to strengthen hate crimes data reporting on AAPI violence. People need to understand that Asian Americans are just as American as anyone else. Three, two, one. The Starship rocket test flight taking place in heavy Texas fog. Liftoff successful. SpaceX tracking the high altitude flight. This is good. Um, so far. So, um. The rocket image suddenly freezing upon descent. There was an orange. <sighs> Look at that. Whoa. Debris from the rocket seen raining down on the pad. Did it. Our camera. It hit the ground. Okay. Our camera. <laughs> Light debris and pieces of Starship. There's stuff smoking on the ground in front of the camera. SpaceX calling it an exciting test and interesting flight. World-renowned author Dave Pilkey's children's book being taken off shelves for what its publisher calls passive racism, a subtle form of racism that normalizes discrimination. The 2010 book Adventures of Ook and Gluk was a graphic novel from the Captain Underpants creator featuring time-traveling cavemen training at Master Wong's School of Kung Fu. It caught the attention of a Korean-American father who started a petition online demanding the publisher and author apologize. Author Dave Pilkey responding, saying he hopes his readers will, quote, forgive me and learn from my mistake that even unintentional and passive stereotypes and racism are harmful to everyone. The publisher Scholastic saying, together we recognize that this book perpetuates passive racism. Deciding to pull this book has a pretty significant impact, not just on the publishing industry, but on the way that future authors will think about what they're creating. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.